record show. It was big that uh, the the Denver uh, Rocky Mountain Record Show was in a building downtown Denver. I went Sunday. Parking's free Sunday. If you get there early, there's lots of parking. There's lots of parking meters. That worked out pretty good. You know, I walked a couple blocks. It was free. What the hey? And yeah, the building, beautiful, architecturally speaking, beautiful building. So you get in there, and there's like, it's three stories. Three stories of records. Now, <coughs> nice ramp going up. It was pretty impressive. It, there was um, a good sized crowd by the time I got there, and it really got busy by the time I left. There was like Monster Energy was there selling stuff, getting everyone kind of, you know, pumped up with caffeine to buy more. And uh, I think there was a couple cannabis places. Uh, Vinyl Me, please put this on so they had their own booth. And uh, yeah, and, and a lot of records, a lot, a lot of records, as you saw. And as I went through the racks, I I, I can't spend hours doing it. You know, this is like, well, I, I got other things I want to do during the day. But I was looking for, I was looking for one particular album, just, just one. And what I really wanted to find was... Um, the Cramps, Bad Music for Bad People. I have not located it, have not been able to see it. And uh, that's what I was looking for. And I was looking, just wasn't finding it. But I found a few records. And, and I got, I actually got discounts on each of them. One of them said, well, if they're giving 20% off anybody with glasses. Well, that worked out in my favor really, really well. And that was the first booth. And they had this, Television Marquee Moon. Now, this is from, I believe, 76 is when it came out. And I you know Seth 77. And I did have this. Uh, I mean, this was the exact one that I used to have. And I, in fact, I still have the vinyl for it. And uh, so I was pretty excited to see this. So this was not an original. And I, honestly, it, it, was, it was priced too high. And I got a discount. And I, and I still paid too much. The prices... I guess if you really dug and looked, I mean, I saw Tim from the University of Vinyl. He he found some, you know, some some things at pretty good prices. I, I was looking for these grails that I used to have. And that's what I was hoping to find. So I got really excited about this, and you know, just kind of thrilled. And you know, I didn't poke into, you know, it was crowded. I didn't want to go into Discogs and try to look it up, look at the pressings, this and that, la 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 la. I it just, you know, it's just you're you're holding everything up. So I bought it. I paid too much. I, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't like I f felt like I, uh, you know, <laughs> got screwed over, but you know, I didn't even get a kiss for it. But, yeah, it was too much. So there was another band I was going through. They had, oh, my God, they had so much good stuff in there. I'm just looking. In fact, price, you know, you'll see it in the video. <laughs> just, it was one of them. But they had this. No, I used to have one of these too. And you know, this kid, this was um, from a 76. And, uh, and, but it's a repress. But guess what? They priced it like it was not a repress. I mean, really. It, yeah. And, and yeah, I got, they didn't give me as much of a discount there, but I did ask. And, you know, to get something off on it. And Jay, I don't like to do it, but, you know, they, they were asking a lot. And so, you know, I picked it up. And, you know, I, I, I love this album. It's one of my all-time favorite albums. But Jets, what can you say? Um, but I paid too much. I, I did. And, you know, again, there, was, there wasn't research involved or in that. I just, it was the excitement of seeing this, looking, okay, the label looks right, everything looks right. But if I would have checked the, well, like on the television, if I would have checked the, the television, or, or no, it's actually this one. If I would have checked the Dead Wax, you would have seen RE in there. It came out the same year, but it was a reissue. So, yeah. Pay too much. So, I, I really spent a lot of time. I really wanted to find this Cramps album. I've been searching for this. You know, I have quite a bit of the Cramps that I wanted back in. And I couldn't find it. And I was asking people, and they basically said, good luck, good luck. You know, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people would like to find that one. And so I was, um, yeah, it's filmed, and I was walking out the door. I was just saying, okay, I'm leaving. 
And as I was leaving, as I was leaving, the last spot, there it was. Now, uh, to say the excitement, it was like a young teenage boy seeing a dirty magazine for the first time. Oh my God. I, wow. Uh, sorry. Well, there, that, that's, that, that's a hell of an analogy. <laughs> but it was, it was like, there it is. There it is. And, you know, and I, I was trying to go, as I said, I, I, I have to pick that up. I have to pick that up. I like the price, you know. Um, and I go, okay, all right. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm grabbing it. And I bought it. And guess what? Now I'm trying to do this one-handed because I'm holding this. I'm at still my son's. It's orange. It's a freaking repress. It's, this is actually a, um, one of those unofficial. It's an unofficial. But they didn't have a price that way. They just had a price because some freaking moron would come up and just get excited. Like, you know, I just, I have to have that no matter what because it means everything to them and we will sell it to them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it was priced. So, um, all three of these albums, I absolutely adore. I mean, I adore but I paid too much and I didn't research. I didn't look. And, you know, my last record show, I went with Jim Gleason. I, I, I looked for really lesser stuff and I got some good deals, that, that, but that, that was in Michigan. Here, I thought the prices were, it, it, they, they, were they represented Denver. Denver's mile high, the mile high city. Well, I thought a lot of the prices were mile high if not more than a mile high. I mean, it's like, Jesus, really, really? I mean, it's like buying a house, you know? You come out here and it's like, oh, it's triple the price. Oh, my God. Um, but you know what? I didn't have to buy it, right? That's, 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 that's my own stinking fault. I mean, my kids didn't need a bunch of money anyway. Well, yeah, that's mine to spend before I die. So there we go. I bought those three albums. Um, so happy to have them back. But because I got so excited and really didn't spend a little more time with it, you know what, I, I, I didn't get totally screwed, but I paid too much. And, and that bugs me. And uh, yeah, but that was my own fault. So I didn't have to buy it, right? Thank God, at least I got some discount. So that's what I thought. It was, it was a cool record show. It was fun to be there. You know, I've yet to get to a record store here. I've just been so busy learning this job. And of course, you know, I, I, I don't have, my kids will let me use their vehicles, which isn't a problem. Um, the Tesla is really fast. But yeah, I'm just kind of waiting. And, uh, you know, until we get settled in. So there it is. That's, that's, that's my experience. The uh, Rocky Mountain Denver show. Prices are a mile high. Uh, buyer beware, but there are deals to be found, no doubt, if you dig. Uh, I guess I just didn't dig for the right stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I, I, and I hope you enjoyed the footage.